Like I mentioned in a previous video, our goal is to get Gotta Have It Race back out on the racetrack where it belongs. And we plan on hitting a couple True Street events for Anna Marae this year, and next year big drag and drive events like Sick Week and Hot Rod Drag Week. Since our car doesn't make a lot of power, we have to get it as light as possible. So today we're going to install this lightweight radiator support from BMR. This BMR radiator support is actually going to serve two purposes. It's going to save some weight off the front of our car and allow us to delete our sway bar. Getting rid of that sway bar will allow the car to transfer weight much better to the rear tires, which will create more traction. Now, this is available in the hammer tone finish shown here. It's also available in a bright red. Before we jump into the installation video, if you have any questions about the tools we're using, check out cjponyparts.com forward slash tools or click the link up in the corner for a free exclusive PDF and video showing you the tools you should have in your toolbox and how to safely and properly use them. Here be the installation by removing our front wheels so we can access the sway bar and links which are mounted to the strut. Disconnect the sway bar, simply remove this nut right here. Same thing on the other side. Now in our case, we actually do have a BMR radiator support already on the car. This is the one designed for a sway bar. We're actually swapping this out because we want the lighter one without the sway bar. But whether you have a factory one or the BMR one, it's gonna be two bolts on each side right here. The studs come down with the nuts. You're gonna remove the nuts to remove the radiator support. We're gonna support our radiator just a little bit here. It honestly won't most likely fall at all. It will say that because of the hoses and everything else, but a little extra support's not gonna hurt. And pull the tabs off the radiator and you can pull the whole assembly off together. So by itself, this is gonna save 11 pounds off the of front of your car, but if you add up this with the sway bar, all the weight we're taking off, you're talking an easy 20 plus. And make sure you grab the insulators here for the radiator, and move them over to our new piece. Okay, we're gonna put our new lightweight support sway bar delete up into place here. And reinstall the factory hardware. I'm going to snug these down and then torque them to 45 foot pounds. And your installation is finished. The BMR radiator support is going to save some much needed weight off the front of our Mustang. It's going to take the existing weight and transfer it much better to the rear tire since the sway bar is now gone. Installation is pretty straightforward. It should take you about an hour or so. Be back on the road in no time.